Hello YouTubers, P. Sherman Tech here, and by popular demand, um, I've been asked several times uh, to show you the code that I used on my remote control beach utility vehicle, otherwise known as um, a Power Wheels, remote control Power Wheel beach cart um, that you see here. I built this several years ago and uh, made it all completely remote control using standard RC controls and, and an Arduino to control the steering. And I used an Arduino uh, to control the steering so that when I release the remote control steering wheel that the uh, the front wheels would return to straight ahead. Alright, so let's get started. I'm going to assume that you've already seen my videos about the uh, um, the control arm with the using the remote, the RC remote. Um, but this is the setup here. Uh, and this is a Servo City linear actuator. It's an actuator as opposed to a servo. Um, the actuator has a built-in potentiometer that uh, sends a signal that tells in what position the, the push rod is um, all the way in or all the way out and whatever it is in between. Uh, but this is this is a uh, dune racer. Dune racer is a great uh, metal frame, uh, but the uh, for for doing all kinds of things. But this is the actuator, and it pushes the steering linkage uh, to turn the wheels. Uh, what we have here is the uh, setup, and I'll talk more about this in a minute. Um, uh, but we have several components here. Now this is the motor controller and I'm not going to talk about that in this video. Um, but um, what we have here is the Arduino with an expansion board on top. Uh, I used an expansion board because I needed more uh, power connectors. So you can see here I've got one, two, three, four, five, uh, five, five volt power connectors going through here and three uh, ground ground wires so I just needed to have this expansion here for um, and I soldered these pieces in so that they would work um, but the other thing is the IBT2 this is a great little uh, controller perfect for uh, this application these are available on YouTube for I mean sorry on uh, Amazon for I uh, really cheap I think you can get two of them for and I'll show you that in a minute for about fifteen dollars or something. Um, this wire coming in here is the coming from the remote control receiver, and this is the signal wire here, and these are this is the power wire that uh, powers the. Um, I think what this is actually powers the whole board uh, coming from the um, this this thing here back to the receiver. Um, <clears throat> what you see here coming and this is the wire that comes from the steering actuator and that has uh, a positive and a negative or two power leads depending on whether it's going in or out and then it has um, a positive and a negative on the potentiometer and then this is the signal from the potentiometer you see this is positive and negative and uh, on the IBT2 uh, we have a number of pins uh, starting at the left end, we have a uh, five volts and a ground that powers the board um, and or the signal processor, and then we have uh, the enable pins and five volts have to go to that to enable uh, the left and the right circuit, and then these are the signal pins that tell it uh, when to move one way or the other, and uh, I've chosen our mostly arbitrarily uh, which where these go and this is the uh, digital signal from the remote control and that's in uh, position uh, digital pin 4 these are pin 8 and 9 and on this side um, we have the analog from the from the uh, steering actuator and that is in A1 a0, A1, A2, A3, A4, and A5. This is again, this is arbitrary. It could be any one of these. I just chose uh, A1 uh, for this. Uh, okay, so that's the picture. 
uh, those are the pieces um, again well this is the power to the uh, unit for the steering this comes from the battery here and then this goes uh, again to the steering actuator and depending on whether the steering actuator is going in or out the uh, controller reverses the polarity to these um, these wires so uh, and that's that all right so let's look at this so, so here is the again this is just a picture of the Arduino pinout um, you can see this is a one uh, that matters in the programming so we'll get to that um, this is the servo city uh, two inch stroke 25 pound thrust which is plenty for the uh, beach cart that I'm using um, and, and it's an actuator as opposed to a servo I think a servo by definition does not have a potentiometer built in and here is the wiring that we were just looking at the potentiometer signal wire is the blue wire and the these are the uh, positive and negative leads that uh, power the the signal uh, or give the signal um, give the potentiometer a signal position and again these are the positive and negative uh, wires and then here is Amazon so you can get two of these IBT2 uh, motor controllers for less than fifteen dollars so um, that's what I'm using all right so let's let's look at the code here I think I've covered everything um, so uh, first thing you need actually I'm gonna go back is the Arduino software so you need the Arduino IDE and uh, that's free and when you you know I did the MSI installer in my Windows and uh, when you install it it also installs drivers uh, for the ID for the USB for uh, to plug the Arduino into your USB um, so uh, that we're, let's look at that so I've got open here uh, this is the Arduino IDE and this is my saved file now I'm gonna look at this in sections so what we got here is the definitions of the variables uh, we have the setup and we have the uh, the loop and then we have the actions here and these these are functions um, that are called by this loop all right so um, I understand most things with this but I'm not a I'm not an expert on Arduino uh, but I, I got this from all various different uh, resources on the internet on how to do this um, but I'll, I'll talk about the variables first you can see here SAP that stands for steering actuator pin uh, or steering actuator potentiometer is what I use this acronym for and that is the pin for that is A1 as we mentioned then I have my uh, remote control pin is uh, 4 it's a digital 4 and then my uh, my right uh, PWM signal is coming out of pin 9 and my left PWM signal is coming out of pin 8 and those go to the uh, to the IBT2 now I've got some other variables here and I'll explain what they are again this is the steering actuator uh, potentiometer the max position is 800 so the the steering potentiometer ranges from 0 to 1000 so I have it limited from it could, maybe this should be 950 but um, I don't want it to go all the way out and I don't want it to go all the way in in my function so I set the range and we're going to talk about this range here also in a minute now my my remote control goes has a range of 1000 to 2000 and this this is the um, the signal that comes from the uh, the remote control receiver uh, and it gives and it, any depending on which way you're turning the little steering wheel on your controller uh, will give you a value somewhere between 1000 and 2000 and again uh, the steering actuator is between 0 and 1000 so uh, we're going to need to compare these numbers um, to get positions and to see where the steering needs to move uh, depending on this uh, range and I'll come to that in a minute now I've set a precision and that is you know how accurate do I want this to be because it's not you know analog is not very accurate 
and the, so the potentiometer can be a little off and if you set this too tight um, then the, the thing will just be going back and forth it won't stop you know trying to center itself because it's a little off each each time and the, like I said it's between it only moves two inches and it gives a, a, a thousand points of range here so um, and then I set an interval of how often I want to uh, check uh, what the position is and these, this is milliseconds 10 milliseconds and then I have some other variables um, this would be the value of the um, the potentiometer uh, this between here and here and then and the target this is actually the value of where I want the steering to go wherever I have the um, the steering wheel on the remote control turned and then the difference we're going to just calculate that but I wanted to define the variable here now um, this section here is standard for you know any um, Arduino project you need to turn these these on and make that make the uh, software aware of the of what's what's going on and you set the baud rate here um, and anyway these are just so I'm setting up the uh, input of the um, a1 which is the steering actuator potentiometer and I'm setting the input of the uh, RC uh, remote control pin remote control um, I don't know what the P stands for, but anyway, that's the input. And the output is going to be going to the the right PWM, which goes to the RBT2, and the left PWM, uh, which goes to the um, this PWM stands for pulse modulator width or something like that, P pulse width modulation or something. It's just this the name for the um, for the digital signal that comes out of here, and for standard RC controls. So. Uh, the next one is target and this is where the magic happens okay so uh, we need to understand the position of the RC pin okay the position of the remote control uh, steering wheel if you if you've turned the remote control steering wheel we need to get that information and that is in a range between the RC position minimum and the RC position maximum which is to find up here between a thousand and two thousand but we need to understand it in this range between um, 950 50 and 900 here so uh, this function map gives us that information so let's say it's right in the middle here well it's going to be right in the middle here and it's going to return what the middle is here because obviously these numbers the 50 900 and the 1000 2000 don't you know aren't the same if they were we wouldn't need this function so then we get the difference and that is uh, the difference between uh, where the actuator currently is and where we want it to go okay because the target is somewhere in this range depending on the uh, where the remote control steering wheel is turned so uh, we get a value and this is the difference and we uh, compare that we use this function here or this these conditions here if uh, the target is less than this value we want it to move one way if the target is greater than this value then we have it to move the other way now um, and we're also considering uh, the difference is less than the precision and this is where the precision comes in so uh, the precision I have set is 25 so in the range of 50 to 900 I have the position precision set um, not to do anything if these numbers are greater than 25 here um, and I have these self-defined functions here move right move left this would probably be better defined as move in or move out um, because they're kind of arbitrary as we'll see in a moment and then if um, if the difference is not uh, that great then we just stop the movement and we have to we have to turn the, the motor controller off um, we have to set it to not to move uh, in that case so and then again this is set to repeat this loop every 10 milliseconds and then these lines are here are for um, uh, error debugging okay 
So okay, so um, again, I have now I have the the self-defined functions here, and we have move right, move left, and stop movement, as uh, we talked about up here. Now again, these should probably have been move in, move out. I don't know, but when I defined it, um, when I wrote it, you know, I, I don't know. I didn't really know what I was doing, but you get it, the idea. So um, we're gonna consider if um, the remote control position is a greater than zero, which it always is, um, then um, we're going to turn the, the right pin off and we're going to turn the left pin or the left uh, PWM value to 255. Okay, so um, and this is an analog right to the uh, and the PWM pin is an analog pin and we're going to set the again we're going to uh, set the value of the right pin to zero and the left pin to 255 and that's going to tell the motor controller to go as fast as it can uh, to the direction of the left even though we say move right here um, and that's just you know how I wrote it you can write yours the way you want uh, and then move left is the same thing. We need to set the left motion off and the right motion to 255. And that uh, does that. And again, these these change every these could change every 10 milliseconds depending on the position of the uh, uh, steering controller, uh, the remote control steering wheel. And then to stop the movement, we need to turn both of them off, the left and the right. And again, these lines here are for debugging this. Uh, prints out this information um, to the uh, serial output of your IDE. So you can connect uh, your Arduino to uh, using USB and you can uh, get these values as I've shown you. All right, well, um, that's about it. Um, you're welcome to copy this code. Uh, there's really nothing fancy here. Uh, you can see where you know I didn't really know what I was doing, but um, you have the benefit of having me tell you that uh, you know something that works. This definitely works. Um, like I said, if you've seen uh, my other videos, uh, you can see that see them in action. Um, anyway, uh, good luck, and um, I hope it works out.